It might be the best five-year age-dated bourbon I smell this week. Hey folks, David Thomas Tao here at the Vine Pair office in beautiful New York City. Today we're looking at Barrel Foundation. It is the first ever barrel bourbon product that is not being released at calf strength. It is a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys with an age statement of five years, but some whiskey that's older than that. We are going to rate and review this new product, which is very budget conscious, or at least kind of budget conscious for what Barrel is used to releasing. And if you want my full thoughts, I mean, in-depth tasting notes, aromas, finish, all that jazz, make sure you click on the link in the description below. Let's talk Barrel Foundation. Barrel Craft Spirits, Barrel Bourbon is one of their imprints, made a name for themselves over the past eh, decade-ish by releasing stuff at cask strength. Really high quality blends, or at least that's what they became known for and popular for at cask strength. This is their first ever product, not at cask strength. It is a hundred proof, and it is a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. Five, six, and nine-year-old Indiana whiskey, eight-year-old Tennessee whiskey, and five and six-year-old Maryland whiskey. The derived mash bill from that blend is 73% corn, 23% rye, 4% malted barley. Kind of an interesting derived mash bill there. A little low on the barley, a little high on the rye. And again, their first ever product not bottled at cast strength. The MSRP on this, 60 bucks. This is going after a really interesting portion of the bourbon market. Not bottom shelf, not discount bourbon. It's going after that tier that includes things like Four Roses, Small Batch, maybe Small Batch Select. A versatile bourbon that you can drink neat on the rocks, or maybe if you're feeling yourself in a mixed drink and you wanna get a premium ingredient in there or a more premium ingredient in there. But uh, let's dive in. Ooh, yeah. I like their corks. The corks make a good sound. I don't judge the sound. That doesn't go into the rating, but it could. Maybe we have that as a category. No, we shouldn't do that. Citrusy and sweet on the nose. Orange blossom honey. You ever had orange blossom honey? Because that's what this smells like. This nose is older than five years, uh, and Barrel's done a really good job of making this nose with that additional kind of oaky depth, even though the youngest bourbon here is just five years old. A little light caramel. Spice comes in after that. You know, uh, okay, I like this on the nose. I do. I immediately like this on the nose. Barrel's really good at taking different liquid streams, blending them together, and getting really good components from each to shine in different parts of the drinking experience, including on the nose. Good layers of spice, a little bit of depth from the oak. This isn't blowing me away. This isn't like the best... This isn't the best bourbon that I'm gonna drink or nose this week. I do drink a lot of bourbon, but it might be the best five-year age-dated bourbon I smell this week. Let's try it out. Freshly sliced apple, maybe drizzled with honey. Nice little sweetness there. I get less oak on the palate than I did on the nose, which is often common for blends that contain older bourbon. Yeah, I mean, the first component I really get here is this apple, fresh apple, like fresh cold apple. Like, you know, you had it in the freezer for a picnic. Just a little honey over that. And then just a touch of oak comes in, touch of nuttiness come in after that. Uh, it's pleasant, it's pleasant. It drinks at around 100 proof. Um, I gotta say, I see what Barrel was doing, releasing this not at cast strength and proofing it presumably down to 100. This is something that I think a lot of people would enjoy neat, even if they're not whiskey nerds like yours truly. It doesn't have an overwhelming amount of depth. It doesn't have this like cornucopia of flavors that some of Barrel's really good blends have. I love their New Year bourbon which contains bourbons from like seven or eight different states. This doesn't quite hit that tier. The finish medium length and chocolate forward. The problem is like it kind of falls off between the mid palette where I want more oak and more depth. And the finish is it's kind of nice, medium length, again, chocolatey, but there's just like this little bitty flavor gap. Barrel Bourbon Foundation. I'm gonna give this a 91 out of 100. I think it's a fair assessment. This is a really good whiskey. It just doesn't have those like heavy hitting punchier elements that would elevate this into like the mid 90s or out of the low 90s. It's a good spirit. It's priced effectively. You can enjoy it neat. I'm enjoying it neat. I'll probably finish this. They've made a very accessible blended product. It's a really interesting entry into that kind of bourbon segment that's between 55 and 65 or $70. And I think it's a welcome addition to their line. As far as, uh, you know, versatile mid-tier, mid-priced bourbons go, um, Barrel Foundation is one that I will always be happy to have on hand um, and maybe even use this to introduce people to the segment or as like a warm-up pour. I'm gonna have a big night and taste a lot of intense things. This could be a really good one to acclimate my palate with, uh, just kick things off, so. For VinePair.com, I'm David Thomas Tao. This has been my review of Barrel Foundation. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you agree or disagree on any of my takes. I still wanna hear it. Thanks so much for tuning in.